For my first video blog, I chose Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is one of the main characters in the book, The Medici Seal. Leonardo da Vinci is a very important person, and this is why he comes up in nearly all of the Renaissance novels that we are reading right now. Since da Vinci was a real person, he seems very believable, and I can imagine him in real life. Leonardo da Vinci was a, an amazing person, and in real life, they well, in the books, they describe him just like he was in real life. This, for me, makes him even more rea real and believable. Leonardo da Vinci has a lot of problems and challenges that he wants to overcome. Obviously, he can't solve all of them. But one of his main problems is that um, he wants to know everything. So, uh, occasionally in the book, Leonardo da Vinci says that he will not stop searching until he knows the answer, or he will not rest until he knows the answer. So those are two similar quotes. Sometimes I also have the feeling that I want to know more, but I don't have the urge to want to know and see everything in the world. Leonardo da Vinci, as a whole, doesn't really remind me of anyone, but little parts of him do. The scientific part of uh, scientific part of Leonardo da Vinci reminds me of Dr. Browning, my science teacher, because they're both scientists and they like to dissect things. In Dr. V's case, animals, and in Leonardo da Vinci's case, people. Um, other than that, I don't really think that Leonardo da Vinci really reminds me of anyone in particular, because he is such an ex extraordinary character. But Leonardo da Vinci, since he's older, and a lot of people say that the older people don't change that much, he doesn't change that much, although his attitude does vary a lot. Leonardo da Vinci gets to show his soft side during the book, which you don't really get to see during the beginning. Also, he doesn't complain and, like, be bothered about everything any towards the end of the book anymore. But I think one of the main differences is that he becomes more cheerful, and he doesn't have that angry and mad look on his face that scares people away. I think that Matteo is triggering the change in Leonardo da Vinci's life, because Leonardo da Vinci sees how Matteo's lie is affecting his life, and he wants to change it. He wants to change him, and him wanting to change Matteo helps Leonardo da Vinci change for himself. So, really, Matteo is helping Leonardo da Vinci change for himself, although Leonardo da Vinci wants, to, wants Matteo to change. Thank you.